Here's Phil. Alrighty, everyone. Hello. I've been so goddamn busy behind the scenes. You guys have no idea how much stuff I've been working on behind the scenes here. Uh, that keeps me busy when I'm not on stream. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Now, tomorrow, Thursday, is my day off for the week. You know, I've been streaming all week, and it's time for a, a, a break. You know, it's the one day a week that I get to spend time with, with my wife, Kat, and we get to go out and do stuff. Um... You know, a lot of it just being errands and the like, but hey. Yeah, some people are saying my nose sounds uh, stuffed. It's because of my allergies. I have I have pollen allergies, and they're doing landscaping outside. So as they're doing this, all the uh, the pollen's coming in the window, and obviously it's making my nose be all screwed up. I'm salivating at the goddamn mouth. Mm. DSP, your um, friend thinks that you should get a job. My streams are free, and contributions are much appreciated, and they do keep the streams going, but they are not required. I'm happy that you guys just come by and hang out with me every day and share with my gameplay experiences and just chill with me and we have fun together. But, you know, if you do contribute, it helps everything. It lets me keep these things going. It keeps food on the table. It keeps the bills paid. It keeps the power on. So please consider contributing if you can. Now... The one big thing, guys, okay? Right now, the absolute best way for you to contribute is to tip me. The reason being, in the month of April, there was a week where I was in Connecticut, spending time with my parents and getting married, and I didn't make any money. And I didn't make any money. So, after this long... I mean, this was hours. This conversation was hours. All right? After this long conversation with my parents, finally, basically, my mom said, well, since you can't go on the honeymoon... Um, you know, how much do you need to get on this payment plan for these taxes and basically not get completely screwed over? I told her, she gave me the money. She gave me enough money that combined with what she gave me, combined with what you guys gave me, all right, is enough to now get, pay the government and my tax attorney will work with the government to qualify for the payment plan. Now, you know, it, it was a big problem because at the same time my taxes were due, so even though I did raise some extra funds before I left, all the money went to taxes. Um, and so now I'm back and I'm realizing I'm going to receive a very small, or I shouldn't say very small, but a very reduced payment from both Twitch and YouTube this month, which normally would be a certain amount. That's enough to pay the bills. And this month it's probably not going to be because I was gone for a week. And this is the fallback of kind of being self-employed and being a live streamer. When you're not here, you make no money. And that's kind of what happened, you know. I knew this was going to happen. It was, listen, it was much more important for me to spend time with my parents and, of course, to get married than worrying about the week of income. But now I'm kind of living with the repercussions of it, all right? So right now, if you guys tip me versus other contribution methods, those tips I get right away, and I can put those right towards so much shit in my living room. But right now, if you guys tip me, it helps me more than anything else, and I appreciate it in the, you know, the next few weeks. Please consider tipping me over anything else, all right? I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Because I have no fucking self-control. Because he's trying to be a, you know, a, 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 what are they called? Silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just going to say it one way, and hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. And that's what we have to stop. Dude, you know how rude it is to ask people about money? So, how do you tip? Well, there's two ways. Blah, 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 blah. Our very first contribution today actually came from Rob, who tipped me $5. And he says, you know, just to elaborate on pre-stream yesterday, have you all forgotten that Phil created a meme even before we knew what they really were? Nothing I could do. To say that Phil has only just embraced the culture is out and out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and the thing is, there's been many memes related to my content over the years. Not always positive, but memes, I think, before they were even called memes, were, were, were a part of something. If you remember, um, 
I used to talk to you guys about a website called You're the Man Now, dog. And I don't even know if the website exists anymore. But that was like one of the original generators on the internet of big memes. People would take pictures and music and put in like a saying and create this like viral thing. And if you guys remember years ago, I actually made one of these when I was playing my Star Wars uh, dancing game. I was dancing and doing this stupid shit and I made a You're the Man Now dog out of it. And it actually exploded overnight because all my viewers went to see it. And then, of course, I think what happened was people on the website realized that and they, like, removed it from top search or something. I don't know what happened. You know, memes have been around for quite some time before they were even known as memes. And I'm not against memes. What I'm against, and I talked about this a little bit yesterday on the pre-stream, I'm against memes that are negative for the sake of being negative and slanderous to make fun of someone and, and essentially... Eventually, it could hurt them because some people are just so stupid that they believe that all memes are true. You created the monster, you unleashed the monster, and now your complaint is, well, the monster's too powerful to control. Let me fucking unleash the beast. Burn in hell, Burnell. Now I'm gonna burn in hell for the rest of eternity. Because of it, you can't change who you are, I guess. Gee, thanks for the money, dummy. I never failed the mission. Not cool. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Garrett, you need to get out now. That place is toxic. I got the chair. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> well, I think I'm toxic now. Yep, I'm toxic. Very, very, very hypocritical. Uh, the sponsorship is now gone. I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. Now this shocks me. It's it's gross. It's for this. I'm good at lying. <laughs> Thanks for the money, dummies. I have a micro penis. I'm just going to ban me. Free. If I could get down on my hands and knees and say thank you and still be on camera, I would do it. Phil's a, a horrible pedophile and a, and a public masturbator. I need that money to pay my bills. Oh, the camera's on. If you're watching this video, this video will undoubtedly have thousands of views. If one third of the people who watch this video gave me a dollar a month on Patreon, I probably would never have to make a fucking video like this again. All of a sudden, Phil is an abuser of children who wants to slap beat up children and threaten a kid online. What's the deal with Penny? It's so easy to eat. He's a filthy, dirty liar. Shout out to Sean Ranklin. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, we're totally gay. Raging boner. No. Give me monies. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. Views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. Sounds good. I hope that someday I'll get out of it. I don't know if I ever will. I may be, I may be living month to month, paycheck to paycheck, begging for fucking tips and shit on stream for the rest of my life. I think that I'm a horrible person because I jerked off on stream. All the work that I put into this, this, this entity, this not a business. Thank you, you fucking worthless humans, for the view. That's 100% a lie. Thank you very, 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 very much. That's what you get. That's what you fucking get, bitch. What How about you? you? You're looking kind of fat. Oh, yeah, content ID. Content ID. Content ID alert. Why am I poisoned? Why am I toxic? The bottom line is if everyone out there was an intelligent, mature human and realized that memes are just for fun, and aren't meant to be uh, factual evidence of anything, then people would probably get, you know, I, I wouldn't have an issue with any of them. But the problem is, there's these memes out there, you know, about me, and in particular, and other people as well, that are completely silly, they're not meant to be serious, but people turn them into something that's like, oh, this is factually true, and you should hate Phil because of this meme that we made about him. And it's dumb. I mean, if you're that dumb, you know... I, I can't really help you, but at the same time, it sucks because it's true that there's slanderous shit out there and there's not much you can do about it once it goes viral, right? So, that being said, I don't care about me. You know, the lean-in ban meme that we have here on the stream is cool. It's funny. You know, every once in a while, I have to lean in to ban someone if there's not a, a, a mod paying attention or whatever. I have to take care of that. You know, lasso that, that guy and wrangle that guy in to make stream chat more manageable. Um, I'm okay with certain, nothing I can do, you're right. That was a meme from way back in the day, right? Um, 
And so we'll see. You know, moving forward, will there be new memes? Undoubtedly, new memes will be born from my content over time. Um, but that you know, it, it it's all situational. So, Rob, you're correct, and thank you very much for the first contribution of the day. So, Grayside Will cheered and said, "Do you ever do your own lawn work, like mowing your lawn?" Well, I live in a condo slash community, and you don't do your own lawn work. You're not supposed to. Huh? In fact, it, you'd get in trouble if you did, because they want everything to kind of look equal. They don't want, like, one yard looking significantly different from the next yard, because when everything looks good and, and it's kept up, that actually gets the, the, the property values higher, okay? So, that's why there's landscapers out there. Those are paid for by our condo dues. They come every week, and, you know, they trim the, the grass, they weed whack, um... They take care of the bushes and the trees, and they plant, uh, you know, flowers and other plants and stuff. And our community looks beautiful. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I love it. I love living here. It's so nice. The 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 head, someone named the the head, did a 510 bit cheer. He says, if you were a crackhead, what crackhead powers would you want? Um, I don't know what the hell that means. It sounds like a joke or something. I, 